Hello, my friends. Hope you guys are doing well today. So I have five items and a few bonus items that I like to keep on my plate carrier. And I thought maybe I'd share it with you. So I'm just going to chat for a moment about this. There's a few items, though, that really do come in handy. And one of those is going to be gloves. And it's not just because it might be cool out, but because it's nice to have something to enhance your, your grip on your gear. Sometimes our hands get sweaty. And sometimes some of our gear is just a little bit slick to begin with. And I like tactical gloves because, at least the way that I buy them, I get them so that they're form-fitting. I make sure that they actually fit my hand and they're not just like loose. There's a ton of brands out there. Uh, The Mechanics brand does really well, uh, but I know that there are some people who like Oakley, uh, 511, and it just goes on and on. A lot of good brands out there, but just find one that works for you. So a good pair of tactical gloves, and I I like to keep them on the, the front of my plate carrier. Now, I like to also keep some Grimlock D-rings. I go for like the mid-size uh, Grimlocks, and I keep one on the left front and the right front, and that allows me to transfer my tactical gloves from side to side, depending on what I'm doing. Next is the lights, and yes, there's going to be two lights here. One of them is a body light that I like to keep clipped on the upper left portion of the of the plate carrier just underneath of the shoulder pad. And I like the uh, the twist headlights that have the low light option. So it allows me in dark environments to illuminate the front of my plate carrier and to allow me to see what I need to see. Also, I like to have a nice tactical light that has the momentary on and that has enough brightness to project out enough to uh, identify threats. Uh, and if need be, to be used a, as a way to um, disorient someone and to create a wall of light, you know, to create cover. And for those who don't know, if you're out exposed in the open and there's no physical cover to go behind, sometimes your light is your best option. And so the FBI has different techniques of how to do this. What they typically do will hold the light out and above and uh, from your body so that, you know, if someone is trying to shoot at the light that they're not going to hit you, at least mostly you. They might hit your arm, but if you hold the light out, you you know, you're not going to hit any of your vitals and and have a real problem. So besides a light, um, I really do like to have some type of cutting tool on my person. And most likely I'll have an EDC blade, but in terms of just the plate carrier, I like to keep either a folding blade or a small fixed blade on there, especially if I'm doing like CQB type of things, which normally I don't do those kind of things. But if you're trying to set up a plate carrier for the home, you know, for home protection, well, that's close quarter, you know, type of scenarios. So, you you know, you might get in a situation that you don't have the ability to fire your firearm or to use it, and you might be doing hand-to-hand com- combat, and so maybe a fixed blade would be something, you know, that could be practical, or even a, you know, a folding blade. Back in the day, I used to attach a full-size combat fixed blade, you know, that weighed a lot, that was really bulky, and I've kind of moved away from that. Um, for some people, that might be something to, to look at, but for me, though, I've gone to uh, more lighter and smaller form factors. Heavy duty zip ties or flex cuffs. This is something that's just nice to have on your plate carrier. You can just keep them in a pouch just in case you're in a situation that you need to, you know, detain someone. Uh, It's probably going to be very unlikely that you'll have to do that. But, you know, sometimes you have to restrain someone. You have to detain them until the police get there, especially if someone just broke into your house and if they're on drugs, you may have to. For your own safety and the safety of themselves, you may have to restrain them. It's just something that you might want to consider having something to do that. So I have a few bonus items just to kind of put it out there. Of course, it just depends on the purpose of of your plate carrier, you know, why you're setting it up, why you're setting it up. But um, I do like to keep a cord cutter. Um, You know, sometimes the cord cutter 
is part uh, or built into uh, the actual folding blade, or it could be a standalone cord cutter. I like to sometimes include uh, a mini uh, EMT shears, you know, those little four inch shears. Those are awesome. That's in addition to my trauma kit. And I also want to preference, though, that um, these five items are, are going to be in conjunction with my trauma kit, my uh, ballistic inserts, and, of course, any of my magazines uh, for my firearms for reloads, and, of course, any of my pouch systems. Uh, but continuing on in terms of bonus items, we have the cord cutters, uh, the mini trauma shears, and then also uh, glass breakers. Sometimes, once again, the glass breaker could be built into a fixed blade or a folding blade. But sometimes you can, uh, especially if you're looking, you know, to go very small form factor, you can get dedicated glass breakers. And so those are sometimes things that I look at and have used in the past. Um, if you are in a situation that you need to have some kind of survival kit as part of your plate carrier system, um, then you definitely want to look at all the aspects with that, including things like lock pick sets um, and so forth. So there's there's all kinds of things that we can start to get in, you know, into and we can get down that rabbit hole. But if you check out my last video, I made three lists in that video uh, just to kind of help people to brainstorm about the things to that a lot of people consider or pick for their plate carrier system. And the first list was the core loadout. That uh, was the more like obvious essential things that you would probably want to use if you have a plate carrier. The second is the secondary, you know, items. And then, of course, uh, survival kit uh, components, uh, just ideas of things that you might want to put into a survival kit if you have a plate carrier system. I hope this helps. Thanks for your support. Catch you later.